Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, Game of the Year Edition. In our last video, Fetter cleared Adamasartus, then returned to Sedanine, where Socutius Ergala asked him to find the murderer of Processus Vitellius and bring them to justice. To do that, Fetter's gonna have to ask around a little bit, and... Eldefire, you seem pretty plugged in. You have my attention. Good. Tell me more about the murder of Processus Vitellius. Someone finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise, I suppose. No one likes a tax collector, especially one who flaunts his wealth while taking our hard-earned cash. Only one who could stomach him at all was Thavir over in the lighthouse. The two of them spent some time together. Shame, really. She seemed like a nice woman. Your journal has been updated. Thavir over in the lighthouse, you say? I'm listening. Well, I'm not saying anything. This is an active investigation. None of your business. I'm solving a murder! Oh, I see you. I'll be back for you in a minute. There's a mud crab out there. Hey, Thavir. What is this about? Oh, well, this is about the murder of Processus Vitellius. Processus murdered? No. Tell me it's not so. He was the gentlest man I've ever met. He and I had become so close in the past few months, I don't know what I will do without him. I've only seen him get angry once or twice, and he never raised a hand to anyone. This is so sad. You saw him get angry? Well, not even angry, I suppose. I saw him arguing once with Foreign Gilneth about his taxes. He thought Processus had been levying too much and skimming off the top for himself. Ridiculous. Processus wouldn't have done such a thing, I'm sure of it. Please find out what happened, friend. And if you find out what became of Processus's ring, it would ease my heart. Your journal has been updated. Processus's ring? I gave him the ring many months ago, and it was dear to him. I would like it to remember him by. Okay. Hmm. An argument with foreign Gilneth. Well, we know where his shack is. But first... Mud crab. Your end is nigh. Because this is what I do now. Dead mud crab. With two crab meat. Very good. Is this a container? Nope. Uh-oh. There we go. I was like, uh... That's some deep swamp water. I could have cut straight across, but I'm not sure how deep that is. And Macera. Running is faster than swimming. Unless you're an Argodian, perhaps? I don't know. Here's Ford Gilness Shack. Macera. Yeah, uh, so. Tell me about the murder of Processus Vitellius. That fetcher. You're damn right I did him in, and a good thing, too. He was skimming a load of money from all of us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. He was always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels. So, I killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot, with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. Your journal has been updated. Hmm. Well, Fetter can either take that and uh, just walk away, or he can do what he was asked to do by Socutius Ergala. Uh, I think just walking away, pragmatically speaking, means that Fetter won't get paid, and getting paid is pretty cool, especially since this guy's a murderer, and it sounds like, you know, nobody does like a tax collector, but I don't think Processus was skimming off the top or anything, so it's time to deal with foreign. Sorry, that is no excuse for murder, and your punishment has been decided. 
You're one of them, huh? Come to kill me? Well, give it your best shot, Dark Elf. I've no problem spilling more of the blood of the Emperor's lackeys. Your journal has been updated. Goodbye. Uh-oh, combat. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. Oh! He's punching Fetter's face! Just real quick, the punches, they are doing fatigue damage, not health damage. When we fight a mud crab or something, we're losing health if we get hit successfully. But since he's unarmed, all he can do is fatigue damage. Now, once Fetter's fatigue reaches zero, that could be trouble because uh, Fetter will fall over and then Foreign can kind of kick him while he's down and that will start to do health damage. We're not there yet, but we will be because Fetter is just swinging wildly and well, this this could get this could get silly. I think he just blocked with his shield. Did, I want to see that. Did you block? Yeah, there's been some blocking going on. I don't know if that was it or what, but that was a block. Pretty sure. Either that or he just got staggered. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Fetter is low on fatigue. Um, give me a moment to catch my breath. <clears throat> That's not gonna happen. Bonk. You will suffer. There's light armor. I cannot take it. Well, you're gonna have to because, uh... So he is trying to run, but we need to finish the job. This is the, uh... Oh my goodness. This is... This is what happens if you murder somebody, man. I've got state-sanctioned murder here. I'm supposed to do this. For the Empire! <laughs> and this is why you need your, uh... Weapon skills to be high. <laughs> well, Foreign, do the crime, pay the fine. He had a common belt and pants and shirt and shoes and ah, yep, there's Processus Vitellius's ring. We weren't gonna get that unless we finished this, so that did need to happen. Porthavir. And seven gold and a tankard. I will just take the ring and your gold. All seven coins. Yay. And uh, now it's time to see what you had. Oh boy, some reagents. Alchemical ingredients, yeah. Uh, scuttle, that is. More scuttle. And in the chest we have, hmm. Some paper and five gold. Can I read this without taking it? Yes. Wow, this is enthralling. Okay. I Oh, I don't want it, though. Put it back. And some gold. Now, I'd like all of it. Just leave one coin in there. It's the one coin killer. Leaves one coin on the scene of every murder he commits. That would be kind of funny, actually. It's like from Boondock Saints or something. Salt rice. Uh, can't uh, seem to... Uh-oh. Oh no, please don't be stuck. So here's an interesting... Si okay. I was like... I thought I might have been stuck on the scenery and was hoping that maybe if I turned far enough to the left I'd be able to see the door to Satanine and use it and get outside and you know, have Fetter's position be refreshed, but that uh, didn't end up being necessary, which is good. I haven't finished looking around. Nope, nothing in there. Nothing in there. What are these? Bottles. Nah. What's in here? A bowl. That's fine. And we'll be back to read A Dance in Fire Chapter 6 later. But for now... I think it's time to give Thavir Processus's ring.
It is already night again. Time flies when you're having fun. You know, killing people. I'm listening. Go ahead. Well, I got his ring. Oh, you found the ring I gave him. Thank you so much, Fettermach. It's good to have something to remember him by, though I'll never see him again. Here, take this. He usually traveled with the couple when he was doing his job, but he didn't this last time. If only he had. Your journal has been updated. Two standard restore health potion has been added to your inventory. Processus Vitellius's ring has been removed from your inventory. Oh well. Now to go get some money! It's callous, but uh... The vagabond's gotta make a living. Taking odd jobs and whatnot. I'm listening. Go ahead. I have a feeling that you and I... Outlander, what do you want? I want 500 gold. Hey, Socusis. You shouldn't be here. Yes, I should. Or are you just speaking in the morgue? I shouldn't have pushed so hard. Okay, Socusis, which is it? Do you want me to leave or stay? Because I'm getting some pretty mixed signals. Do you maybe have attachment issues you'd like to work through? I mean, I'm totally up for that. But first, uh, I do bring news. Regarding the murder of Processus Vitellius. I heard you had been asking around about his murder. I'm glad to see this matter brought to its completion. Here's your reward, Fettermach. Good to see there are still some citizens who understand their loyalty to our Emperor. Your journal has been updated. 500 gold has been added to your inventory. Goodbye. Wonderful. Fetter now has a very healthy... 1,377 gold. And he's going to use some of that now. On some stuff that, uh... Keep moving. I will. On some stuff that he could have purchased earlier, but I chose not to, but now that we've got a pretty good amount of money, I think now is the time. What is it, Sarah? To what do I owe the pleasure, Dunmer? Uh, no big deal, nothing. I'm not... I'm not doing anything. What? Hey, Ariel. It's time to buy some spells. I don't know that I want all of them, though. I mean, Absorb Fatigue, sure. Maybe that would have been helpful in the fight with four in there, but, um... That is very expensive, so I'll come back for that. For now, I'm going to get all the cheaper ones. That includes everything except Absorb Fatigue and Jack of Trades. So we're going to get Spark, and I'll review what they do after purchasing them for 53 gold. Father's Hand for... You know what? I'm going to skip that. I'm going to skip that. No, I'm going to get that. I, I was going to skip it because I look at that and go, Sanctuary? Fetter's already got a great sanctuary spell, but it's once a day, so uh, this this could come in handy in a really tight situation, so Father's Hand. Resist Magicka, sure. Fireball. And Frostbite. So there went a little bit of that money, but it's worth it. Bye. Do I have anything I want to sell while I'm here? I don't think so. Stuff I might want to eat. Fetter's getting a bit bogged down with his... That's the wrong key. They're like, what's going on? Uh, I, I just like the shing noise. Oh, okay. Let's talk about those spells real quick. So I have purchased Father's Hand, and as discussed, uh, this is a sanctuary spell. I've also purchased... Some destruction stuff. Fireball, Frostbite, and Spark. So now Fetter 
can inflict fire damage, frost damage, and shock damage. Over here, however, we see that uh, the chance of success for those is pretty poor. There's a less than 50% chance that any one of these destruction spells will cast properly, and that's that's unfortunate. Oh well. But then you've also got stuff like Resist Magicka, which is from the School of Restoration. Resist Magicka 10% for 5 seconds on self. There's a really good chance that'll work. Okay. I'm listening. Good. I'm not talking. I suppose I could spare a moment or two. Okay, well, I can't. Bye. I'm gonna get out into the wilderness and camp for a bit because I would like the sun to come up. This should be the wilderness. It is. It's 9 p.m. Well, then I guess, uh, 10 hours of rest? There we go. Remember that tomb? The Samaris Ancestral Tomb that we saw when we were exploring around this way. And I was like, no, I don't think I want to go in there. There's a good reason I didn't want to go in there at that time. But now I feel perfectly comfortable going in there. Hmm, what could have changed? Well, we'll see in a minute. Nice little jaunty jog through the swamp. It's just what everybody wants to do every morning. It must be really nasty and humid. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and Fetter is back here. At the Samaris Ancestral Tomb. Let's head in. Some creepy noises. Let's get a better look at this stuff. Well, this is nice. What's in this urn? Bone meal. Yum. And this one? Bone meal. Yum. This is a scroll of Telvin's courage. This will rally humanoid 20 to 50 points for 60 seconds in 15 feet on target and Rally Creature 20 to 50. Why is that music changing? Oh! Okay. Well then. Well, that increased Fetter's long blade to 38, but um, the weapon has no effect. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, this uh, ancestor ghost cannot be damaged with mundane weaponry. But Fetter knows Fireball. And the reason I'm going to use Fireball is because it's got the lowest mana cost. That's five. Frostbite and Spark are six and seven, respectively. So Fireball is the best bet right now. Oh, Fetter's got some status ailments here from the Ghost, we've got Drain Fatigue, Ghost Curse, 10 points. And Drain Attribute, Ghost Curse, Endurance, 5 points. Well, that could be worse. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, you failed casting the spell. Remember, that's because he's only got a 46% chance of casting it successfully, so that makes sense. But we've got another 6 casts of it remaining. Oh, 
the most. Got it. And there is its, uh, remains. Ectoplasm. Cool. That's why I wouldn't come in here earlier, because I needed to be able to cast spells. <laughs> Fetter didn't do half bad. And magic is very powerful. I just want to say, uh, because my previous Let's Play was Ultima 9, and the magic in that game, the, the offensive magic was just so underwhelming by comparison. I, I don't feel that being a casting avatar would have been a good idea. But in this game, you saw how powerful that was. Granted, you have to probably rest a lot to restore your mana, but, oh, this is how you know I've been talking too long. The game starts going, oh, okay, we'll go into screensaver mode and everything. But yeah, um, that was powerful. That was some really good damage. Pretty good trade for how much mana was spent and how much damage was done. You can be a caster in this game and it really works. And I, I just think that is so cool. Okay. Anyway. I was talking about this. It's not that interesting though, so... Ooh. Cool. Well, I'm just gonna take it. That is fetters now. Got more bone meal. And probably more bone meal, I imagine. And some hyphophasia. Whatever that's doing there. Alright, let's go further in. So that noise... I'm starting to think that's an ancestor ghost. Yeah. More bone meal. Uh, I hear it. Let's just deal with this now. Yep. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I pressed F. Nice. This right here... I'm... I'm not sure if that's Fetter taking damage from his own... Oh, I think it might be. Hmm. Because I, I don't think that the, uh... The ghost is doing that. I think that might be Fetter potentially harming himself with splash damage. It's it's hard to tell. He's winning. <laughs> he is winning. Uh-oh. Well, maybe not anymore. Run! Run, Fetter, run! You have been bested. Yeah, he's he's low on health. Pretty much out of mana, magicka, whatever. It's time to rest. Now, the nice thing about resting is that if, at least in my experience, if you rest until healed, your magicka goes all the way up as well. It must restore m much more quickly than health. Oh, interrupted by a scrib that really has no interest in uh, fetter. But you know what? Let's practice destruction. Oh, you know what? Oh, I didn't look at this. I didn't look at this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Destruction. So those few casts that we've done that were successful, and I'm thinking it was five, because the first ancestor ghost took three hits of fireball, and that second one, Fetter managed to get off two before having to turn tail and run. So I think that... Each successful cast is adding five progress points in destruction. And we can probably test that here. Come here, bud. Sorry. Oh, that, that didn't work. That didn't work either. You can really make me chase you into the water. I'll do it. Oh, and a slaughter fish. Okay, okay. We got, we got mean fishies. That's what's going on there. But before we continue, yeah, we had one successful cast there, and that was five points. Cool. Well, these are mean fishies. Always with the mean fishies. Ah. 
didn't work. That did. That did too. You're almost dead. Oh. Failure. I think Fetter, he's got one more cast left. That didn't work. You'll have to just chop him up. Time for sushi. Okay. Let's loot these slaughterfish. This is a small one. Got some scales. Here's a uh, fully grown one, which has two scales. And here's the scrib that Fetter absolutely destroyed. Take its jelly. And Fetter is now completely out of magicka. So it's time to rest until healed. Your rest has been interrupted by a rat. Hold on. Magicka. Look at that. That's incredible. That is incredible. It is so powerful. I love it. And we'll take your meat. And rest again. Yeah, resting in the wild uh, can be risky. Oh, and here you are. You got all your health back. But so do I. Okay, so I was wrong about the uh, the damage that had been done to Fetter. Those really are just the hits of the Ancestor Ghost. Oops. This isn't going so well. There we are. There we are. Another job well done, Fetter. Take that ectoplasm. Cool. So that thing chased us from this area, but I'd like to continue looking around now and make sure that there hasn't been any permanent damage. There hasn't. That is a thing that can happen. There can be permanent damage to your attributes and skills, which is not cool. Just checking real quick, but yeah, Fetter's six out of 10 points towards his next level. Not bad. Longblade's been increasing all this time and got destruction up to 65 out of 100 for its next increase. Light armor is almost to its next as well. Very close. Block is not changed. That's okay. Check the condition of his gear. So, yeah, that's a thing that's happening. Uh, Fetter's Imperial Broadsword... Its condition is 346 out of 600. We're going to need to deal with that shortly. His armor seems to be mostly okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah, his armor's okay. His weapon, though, different story. I'm going to get the torch out, because it's dark in here. Where is that torch? I know I picked one up, I just I don't know what the icon looks like. Um, oh dear. I'm about to have to give up on that because... Is it apparel? Is it a weapon? I did take a torch, didn't I? <laughs> uh, there, okay, it looked like a key. It looked like a key, okay? It was right next to another key. I thought it was a key. There we go. What's this? Shrine of Saint Veloth. Would you like to make a donation of 35 and receive a blessing? Uh, maybe. What blessing do you ask for? Cure disease, cure blight, cure poison. Veloth's indwelling. And alms of restoration. Uh... I, I don't know what this one is, so let's do this one. Let's see here. Fortify Magicka. Ten points. Hmm. Cool. Anything else? 
Nope, that's that's all it does. Is a little couple extra casts of whatever spell you might be using, basically. That's great. Well, now we know. Probably won't be doing that again. There's an urn with bone meal. And another urn with bone meal. And a small chest containing nothing. That's sad. And another urn containing bone meal. And a scroll of hellfire. Let's read about that real quick. Weakness to fire, 5 to 12% for 10 seconds in 10 feet on target. Fire damage, 10 to 100 points in 10 feet on target. Fire damage, 2 to 8 points for 5 seconds in 10 feet on target. Probably could have used that on one of the ancestor ghosts. But I think it's better to have been practicing Fetter's destruction magic. Get some bone meal. More bone meal. And crush fiber. Sure. And in here... Bargain Fortify Health Potion. Hmm, sure. We can have that. And more bone meal. And more bone meal. Hmm. So this is a little bit creepy. Urn labeled Lord Brin. And it is trapped. It is trapped. Okay. Well, we know what to do about that. We'll use the Apprentice's Probe to try to disarm that. I keep pressing Tab instead of F and stuff. Okay, here we go. Disarm Trap failed. Um, again? Trap disarmed. Cool. That increased Fetter's progress in security. Just a little bit. I don't know how much. But uh, now it's at 23. Let's go ahead and put the Imperial Broadsword back on. Now that we are done with the probe. So, Lord Bryn. I went over this in my Ultima 9 Let's Play, but... Lord Bryn was the screen name of Bill Iberg, or Eberg, I still don't know how to pronounce that, a prominent and well-liked member of the communities of several big-name RPGs that were all in production at about the same time, including Morrowind, Ultima 9, Deus Ex, and Might and Magic 8. Unfortunately, he passed away before any of those was finished so their respective developers placed things like this into their games to memorialize him. It's really quite lovely. He must have been a pretty great guy. And here we have a locked chest. Well, was there... We didn't look in here. Didn't look in here. Mentor's Ring. Value 8,000. Wow. Probably because of that incredible constant effect. Fortify Intelligence, 10 points on self. Fortify Willpower, 10 points on self. That is fantastic. That is going to help so much with casting. And we've got the Ashes of Lord Bryn. I'm going to leave those there, out of respect. I, I don't think Fetter needs them. But I will take the key to Lord Bryn's chest. Because it's right here, and it's locked, and I don't feel like using a lockpick on it key to Lord Bryn's chest used to open lock. All it contains is a common ring. I'm going to leave that. Fetter doesn't need that. All right. Did I look in this one? I did. Okay. And that is the Samaris Ancestral Tomb cleared. Uh, 
I wanted inventory. I keep pressing tab all the time just for... I'm still getting the, the key bindings. I'm still getting used to it. I want to put that torch away. Save it for later. There we are. And it is dark, but... I think it's okay to run back to Satanine. Like this. No big deal. You know, just running around in the swamp at night. As one does. It is nice. It's a nice sky and everything. Very pretty. Did I just get turned around? No. But I am going somewhere that I haven't been. Hmm. Uh, I need to be going... that way. But, uh... Hmm. Let's deal with this. Your light armor skill increased to 17. Fantastic. And we'll have the crab meat. I'm not gonna worry about taking reagents right now. I'm interested in... oh boy. That. Yeah. We've got a cliff racer. These things are awful. You know what? I'm gonna cast on you. Failed. Let's try again. That failed too. Uh oh. Ouch. <laughs> uh, let's see. What could Fetter do right now that would help? What do you have? Bargain fortify health. No, I want restore health. We got anything like that? Yes. Thank you, Thavir. We'll take one of those. Very good. That is what consumables are for. <coughs> you know, consumption. Fetter probably needs to practice his casting on slightly more innocuous foes before stuff like this. Racer plumes. But hey, he survived. That weapon is in pretty poor condition at this point. I'm just doing this to fill out this part of the map. Cliff racers are horrible. Absolutely horrible. If for no other reason than they just kind of appear. And uh, you got to deal with them. So this is the Thelos Ancestral Tomb. Well, not right now. Not right now. Still just looking around. Nothing terribly interesting over here. would like to get out of the water, though. Because we've got a slaughter fish. You know what? I will cast fire on you one time. Fireball. Uh, of course. Fine. Just kill the slaughter fish with a sword. As one does. almost dead as well. Your light armor skill has increased to 18. Very good. No scales. There's some scales. I think Fetter needs a break. Rest until healed. Ah, that's nice. The sun is up. Well, Fetter will continue his travels in the next video.
So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.